Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name's Lottie for those who are new here and a few weeks ago I did a uni advice type of video and today I thought I'd show you things that I found essentials at uni and also things that I took that I did not need throughout the year. So before I went to uni I watched loads of like packing videos on YouTube and some of the things I got because of those videos I actually didn't end up using at all in uni. So it was just a waste of money, time and space as I just sat there collecting dust. So I thought I'd show you things I used and didn't use throughout my first year. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below. And other than that, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like room by room. So bathroom, bedroom, kitchen. So those three rooms. I'm gonna start with the kitchen stuff. Obviously everyone knows you need pans. So I'd recommend you take one frying pan and one boiling pan, a decent sized one so you can do pasta and things like that, but you only need one because I bought a whole pan set up before I went to uni and like I couldn't actually fit them in my cupboard because you get one tiny cupboard in your kitchen to share. So just take two pans and that will be fine, but I haven't actually got them to show you because everyone knows what a pan looks like. First of all, when I was shopping for uni, I went to Ikea, so I'll show you all the Ikea bits first because I think you can still get all these bits currently in Ikea now, even though I got them last year. First of all are these things, um, they're just cooking utensils, <laughs> I didn't really know what they're called. These are about a pound um, and it's a pack of three, you get one of those pinchy things, a spoon, and one of these scoopy things, I don't know what they're called, <laughs> but um, they're really cheap and they're really handy. Last year mine all got stained, so I just got a new pack for a pound this year. So I'd say these are essential. You don't need any more cooking utensils than these because you don't really cook that much proper food, apart from a wooden spoon. So obviously these are probably like 20p, I don't even know to be honest, but you know, a classic wooden spoon, you're always gonna need these things. So I wouldn't recommend any more um, cooking utensils because they're just going to clog up your tiny little drawer. So next thing I've got that's essential is a tin opener because I ate a lot of baked beans Ooh. so I needed this to open them. So this was useful but I also took with me a pizza cutter and a potato peeler which I just didn't use so I wouldn't recommend taking these. Again these are all about a pound from... Ikea, but you probably don't need these realistically. The next thing I think everyone and their dog has these from Ikea, these 50p Ikea glasses or however much they are. They are so thick. So these are actually the ones I took last year. I took four of these, but you only realistically need two. And they didn't smash. So for the price, I'd recommend you go and grabbing yourself some of these from Ikea. Okay, the next thing I got from Ikea was these plates so i got two big plates two small plates two pasta bowls and two normal bowls they do them in loads of different colors um most people have those plates at uni but you don't need the whole set you need probably two big plates and two bowls that's it like i did not need the pasta bowls i did not need the small plates again you have no cupboard space at uni so probably just take a bowl and a plate and that will be sufficient. The next thing I got from my kit is this washing up scrubby thing. Um, not sure what it's called, but you wash up your dishes with it. I think this again was about a pound or less. And obviously you'll need this for washing up, but actually I do have to say, I'd recommend a Dishmatic over one of these. That's one of those things that has a sponge on the end and you fill the handle with soap. And then you can just wash your dishes like that. So maybe get one of these, maybe get a dishmatic instead. And the final kitchen thing I got from Ikea is this bottle opener. Now, obviously, most people in uni do a lot of drinking, so you can see how this came in handy. But also, it comes in handy to open jars. So if you're not very strong like me, you can just open the jar with this, pop and then you can unscrew it, you know, to let the pressure go. So this really, really did come in handy in the end. Now, the rest of my kitchen stuff I got from B&M. So a lot of this actually matches, um, you'll see in a sec. So yeah, the rest of this came from B&M pretty much. So first of all, I got a cutlery set. Um, this was a 16 piece set, which 
it's unnecessary you need two forks two knives two spoons etc but these ones i got because they were quite i don't know if you can see that but they've got a really cute pattern on and i definitely say try and get some that are a bit different because most people have those black ones from wilco and they just all get mixed together so you don't know whose is whose you lose all your cutlery so definitely try and get some that are a bit different like these and to match them i actually got these mugs these came like this and um, obviously again you don't need four mugs but they match my cutlery so i wanted them but these did actually take up a lot of space i ended up having to keep them in my room um because they're quite big mugs so maybe just get one small one that will probably do to be honest and then again sticking with that grey pattern theme I got these little jars these came in a pack of three and I just used them to keep my tea bags in and I actually kept green tea bags in my room and took a kettle because obviously you don't need milk for green tea so i took these and kept them in my room so these are actually quite handy although they don't look like an essential i'd say maybe get them and keep them in your room because you can keep things in them the next thing i got was a pack of five chopping boards now <laughs> i don't know why i bought five chopping boards you only need one but i think these were only about uh two pound for b&m for this many but again no cupboard space so i'd say only take one small chopping board that's all you'll need i also got this pyrex measuring jug now i rarely rarely use this to actually measure things out but i ate a lot a lot of super noodles at uni so i'd cook them in this so if you like super noodles like me a pyrex glass jug is definitely an essential this is probably the kitchen thing i use the most to be honest and i also got a matching pyrex dish and this is good because i could just cook pretty much anything in this and um, you just throw it in and throw it in the oven. So this was actually very, very useful. I didn't think I'd use it, but I actually did in the end. And sticking with that theme of cooking, you should also take one baking tray, which I should have mentioned at the start, but you don't need any more than one baking tray because I actually took a pizza tray as well and it barely fitted in my cupboard. So you don't need that. Just one small baking tray is sufficient. Mm. And these knives were also part of my B&M shop. They came in a pack of three, but this one was the devil. So as you can see, it's really big. Um, I just took it because I took the pack of three that I bought. Obviously, you don't need a knife this big at uni. Like, I don't know who I thought I was going to be, like Gordon Ramsay or something. But it actually ended up getting stuck in my drawer. And I couldn't open my drawer, so I had to get receptions come up. So just one sharp knife this big is plenty. And finally, from the kitchen tea towels this one is actually from madison i've just got a pack but you know you can get tea towels anywhere i actually did take a oven glove as well but you don't need an oven glove because you can just use your tea towel so get a few packs of tea towels because they come in handy and it also if you spill stuff i mopped up loads with tea towels so definitely take a few packs of tea towels now that's all the kitchen stuff that i actually used i took loads of other things like i took a toasty maker i took i took a rolling pin i took a mixing bowl i took measuring spoons i took loads and loads of unnecessary stuff but all that stuff i've just shown you is stuff that i actually use almost every day the rest of the stuff packing lists might show you on youtube you probably don't need realistically so moving on to the bathroom there's not much you really need to take for your bathroom obviously you need to take your toiletries but i'd say you can also buy them when you get there so don't really worry about taking them with you i'd recommend taking two sets of towels so one big towel and one hand towel just because if they're in the wash and you have another set i just got mine from primark they were about three pound each so you can get towels pretty much anywhere i also took a small bath mat which absolutely was not necessary it just took up space and realistically you probably don't need a bath mat but one thing i did take which was really useful was thank Thank you was this shower tidy now you don't have to take this one this one was from ikea i think they're like three pound three to five pound and it comes with this hook two basket and i just hooked this on like the temperature dial of my shower and put like my shampoo and all my shower stuff in here because otherwise you have to bend down to the floor to pick it up and like you fall over and it's just horrible. So definitely take one of these because it makes your life 10 times easier. And also 
also buy one of these at the same time which is one of those suction cups so you can um, attach it to your shower wall if you have nothing to hook this on. This was probably one of the best things I took all year because I just used it every single day. And finally, the last thing I took for the bathroom was a toothbrush holder. Just so your toothbrush doesn't get dirty if you leave it on the side, you can just stand up in here. So again, this was something that was very useful. And the final thing on bathrooms is, most uni showers have a shower curtain and they just get so moldy so quick. So before you go or on your first day when you get in your food shop, I definitely say, get some good mold remover because otherwise you get that black mold at the bottom of your curtain and it's disgusting and it's just gross so some good mold remover will go a long long way so things for the bathroom i took that i didn't need was a little pedal bin because there was already one in the bathroom supplied by the uni a toilet brush again one there supplied by the uni and i also took a toilet roll holder which i didn't need because there was no room in the bathroom to keep it and also on the wall was just a metal thing to put one toilet roll on for when you're on the toilet but the rest of it just took up space because the uni provided everything else you'd need and finally moving on to bedrooms obviously everyone knows you need a mattress protector a duvet pillows and bedding so i'm not going to show you that because you can get them from absolutely anywhere i got mine from primark because you know they're cheap i'm not going to be living at uni forever so you don't need to invest in a good quality set of bedding but I'd also recommend getting a thin duvet rather than a thick one, just because most uni halls are boiling hot, mine definitely were, so more often than not, you end up sleeping without a duvet because it's so hot in there, so you definitely don't need a big, thick, heavy one. Bedding-wise, I'd probably suggest taking two sets of bedding, whether they're two sets of the same print bedding or two sets of different bedding, just because when one's in the wash, you can put your other one on when you clean your room or whatever and also if you don't want to pay to use the tumble dryers then you can just air out your other bedding and let it dry on its own and then obviously you have a spare set to put on while that bedding's drying now one of the things i think a lot of people forget is hangers because in uni you don't have much space like obviously you don't have a chest of drawers and things like that so you hang everything up so these hangers are £1.25 from Ikea and you get, I think there's 20 hangers in here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but they're really thin. So you can get as much as possible into the wardrobe. Because when you go to uni, it's all about storage. Your room's very small, so it's all about where you're going to keep things. So take a lot of hangers because you hang up absolutely everything. Speaking of clothes, another thing I took was an iron. And... I did not use that iron once in the whole year because you just wash your clothes, hang them up and wait for the creases to come out of them to be honest with you. So I'd say you don't need to take an iron. One of your flatmates will probably take one anyway so worst case scenario you can ask to borrow theirs but otherwise I do think it's just a waste of money. Keeping on the theme of storage, I actually got these over the door hooks from Primark. I got these in a pack of three, just cheap from Primark, but you can get these absolutely anywhere. And I use these to hang my coats on, which were obviously too big to fit in the wardrobe. I had an ensuite, so I hooked them over the ensuite door. But if you don't, you can hang them on your wardrobe, you can hang them over your main door, and you can use them for absolutely everything. You can use them for coats, dressing gowns, or if you don't have a towel rail in your bathroom, you can hang your towels off them. So these really do help to just give you more space and keep things a bit tidier. Again, on the storage theme are these storage boxes. Now, I can't even tell you how essential and handy these are because in these, I kept things like toiletries in the bathroom. I also use them in the bathroom as well as the bedroom. So I kept toiletries in here, makeup in here, medicine in here, extra bits and bobs I had lying around I kept in here. And they also do bigger ones. So I had one of these which I kept my spare bedding in and another one which I kept all my cleaning products in for the bathroom and the kitchen. I just kept it on top of my wardrobe. So these are just... Oh my god, if you take anything to uni, take these because you can put anything in them and they just help tidy up your room so much. Surprise, surprise, again here I've got another storage thing 
and this is actually just a little biscuit tin as you can see the theme of my room was mainly grey um, but my auntie and uncle and cousins actually bought me this with some chocolate bars in it but get one of these as well as a snack drawer as I said in my previous video just to keep like biscuits in chocolate bars in if you don't feel like going to the kitchen late at night this is really good to keep snacks in another essential for me as well as all my flatmates was a fan because as i said before uni accommodation gets so 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 hot so we all had fans in our room to try and keep us cool the uni actually supplied a huge fan um for the kitchen dining area because they know how hot it was but i would 100 percent say you need one for your room because it gets absolutely boiling even when the windows open a few things i took that were non-essentials and took up space were a paper bin because again the uni provided that and also a desk lamp which the uni also provided i did actually take another little pink bedside lamp which i did use for when i didn't want the big light on at night time but things like a paper bin and desk lamp your university will probably provide in your first year accommodation the next few things i'm going to show you are probably non-essential items but i thought they were essential because they made me feel so much more at home now the first one of these things didn't really make me feel more at home but what i used it for did command strips now i have only got one i haven't got a back of them i've just got one left but they're those things that you stick on the wall and then like peel off and they don't take any of the paint off because uni accommodation is so funny and if you make any marks they charge you and take it off your deposit so take these and that way you can hang up photos i'd say these are absolutely an essential and they are a bit pricey but they're definitely worth it another non-essential thing which made me feel more at home again is a throw now this is actually a new one i'm gonna take this year um you might be thinking black but i want to change the theme of my room <laughs> because suddenly i think i'm an interior designer but definitely take a throw because it makes you feel more cozy and you can just snuggle up with it at night and also right if you're having people around to stay and they're staying on the floor or on an air bed or on some cushions or wherever they're staying you can give them one of these because obviously you only have one duvet again this one was from primark as you can see it was only four pound but yeah a throw is very handy and finally a few things that i don't have here i did actually speak about in my last video but photo frames fairy lights plants things like that are non-essential but if you feel like you get homesick i'd say take them because they do just make you feel so much more at home so that's all the bits that i'd recommend taking for your first year of university a couple of tips i'd say is obviously as a student you don't really have much money so definitely 100 percent if you don't know now learn how to budget before you go things i did was plan my meals plan my food shop and it just helped manage money a lot better so that way i could save money for going out on the weekends and buying new clothes and things like that and also speaking about saving money i would definitely recommend making bigger meals and taking tupperware which is one thing i didn't show because then you can just keep it in the fridge and eat it for three nights of the week and that way it keeps the cost down and it also keeps cooking time down because you only have to cook once and finally one last tip is when you get to uni always check under your bed because there probably is storage a lot of people in my accommodation didn't realize but if you took the mattress off and lifted there was like two panels if you lift them up there was storage under the bed sometimes it might be a drawer sometimes it might be under the mattress but before you put all your bedding on and things just check absolutely everywhere to see what your room has what your room doesn't have if there's any extra storage like that and don't worry because anything you forget you can just go to the shops because it's not like you move into the middle of nowhere you're going to be surrounded by shops things like toilet brushes cleaning products toiletries if you forget them don't worry because you can just pop down to the shop pop down to your local asda tesco and they'll have everything you need so if you made it this far thank you so much for watching another one of my videos good luck to everyone starting uni in september i'm sure you'll love it it's definitely the best year of your life if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe down below if you haven't already 
And other than that, I will see you next week in next Sunday's video. Bye!